Yo, what's happening YouTube? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com and in this video we're going to be doing a part two on the JP40 lithium battery that we just came out with. But first, my name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel, which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. All right, so let's get into this. I have a set of questions here that came up specifically from the first video we did on the JP40 video. I got a huge response and I knew it would because it's an awesome product, but some people just didn't listen through the video the whole way, but we're gonna go over some of their questions anyway. Um, all right, first question on here, that crazy Jane says, my 390 amp alternator puts my system at 15 volts would it be okay don't don't charge it over 14.8 volts the more you charge over that the more you're going to shorten the life of the battery and or uh, cause a catastrophic failure where you could burn the thing up and catch this thing on fire so if you don't want to do that don't charge over the recommended or the high of 14.8 volts all right, on the next one, Nick Stallhood says, does the JP40 need additional parts, accessories, or can it just be integrated directly into my build? Currently, I have the JP23 and JP84. I'm getting ready to install a big three upgrade. I just want the JP40 to help with the voltage a little. Yes, you could delete your battery in the front. You, using a JP84 and a JP23, you could delete the battery in the front and use this as a standalone battery in the back because you don't want to mix the AGM under the hood that you already have and also um, you don't want it would just be best to have this by itself and with you running say around 3,000 watts 4,000 watts at the most you could use this by itself with your factory alternator and you'd be fine like no issues there so uh, yes that's that's the answer there uh, next is Ryan Dozenberry Will these work with my Titan 8 S5 3400? Still need a supplemental for Outback. Yes, you can use those together. Very similar on the charging needs for the batteries and the float voltages for those two different batteries. So yes, I would, I would say you could do that with no issues. Up next is Chad Carbon. It says, thanks JP, great job on this battery. What is the weight of the battery? Keep up all the great work for the car audio world. And I actually responded to it in the comments and I said, I said it in the video, but it's 14 pounds. So again, this thing is very, it's very light for the amount of power you're getting out of this from 6,000 to 12,000 watts rating on a single battery at 14 pounds, unheard of. And you can expand them indefinitely as well. So now you know. Uh, Sia Valencia says, could these possibly be used for, let's say, hydraulic systems in a vehicle? Yes, that wouldn't be a, an issue at all. Obviously, you want to make sure they're mounted down really good. They're not going to be bouncing around or anything like that. But uh, you can use them as standalones. And if, you're, uh, if you have a 12-volt system, again, you don't want to be charging over 14.8 volts. So I'm not, I'm not really in tune with hydraulics and like the voltages they run or whatever but if they're a 12 volt system then yeah no problem you could run them for sure on this with no issues uh you just want to make sure you have the correct alternator uh, output to deal with what you have going on there uh next question is going to be from 418 lightning it says just a dumb question but for off-road guys would you say it is water resistant or proof waterproof and can you do a video in detail about horns uh, so I commented on that said no it isn't you do not want to use this thing outside you do not want to get it wet it will be a very bad day so do not do that this is made specifically to be a supplemental battery inside of a vehicle in the back so don't know you can't put it under the hood do not try to put it under the hood don't try to put it under your vehicle it goes inside of a vehicle in the back or inside of the vehicle wherever you want to it just needs to be inside the vehicle all right that's going to sum up Part two of the questions or talking about the JP40, this just ended up being a uh, question segment for the JP40. If you have any additional questions that we haven't already answered in part one and part two, just post them in the comments below and I'll probably just hop on there and answer them. But we have, I think, literally answered any question that could be asked about this great battery. Oh, something just popped up into my head. Somebody was saying, you always have people commenting 
that it's not a great price point like is is too expensive it's not too expensive there's a, just a bunch of different options out there so a lot of people that say it's too expensive or you can get cheaper for better um cheaper price wise doesn't always mean something is better it seems to be always the people that are do-it-yourself people or build your own lithium bank people come into these videos and say oh you can get 40 amp hours for xyz price whatever it might be and yeah you can but not everybody knows how to put that together and not everybody wants to burn their vehicle down by not putting it together correctly but if you want a set that you can build yourself we also offer that as well on down for sound so if you want to build a lithium battery yourself then you can do that if you know how to do that you can do it but we offer that but for people that want something that's already pre-made and comes in a nice package and it's ready to go all the guesswork is taken out of it it's right here in front of you so that's the different options that we have here so anyway 999 bucks shipped to your door inside the continental us is a great price i mean you can check other offerings that are similar that may give you less on options for sometimes more money so anyway weigh out what your options are and see what fits best for you and as always keep it locked in here on my channel for the latest and greatest content we're about to be hitting up a bunch of shows here this season i look forward to taking you along with me and showing you all the cool builds especially the tahoe I appreciate you watching another one we'll see you in the next one later what's happening guys if y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video be sure to follow me on youtube facebook tiktok instagram under the life of price and also down for sound shop on facebook and instagram and don't forget snapchat i'm jpd4s on there so be sure to check me out there we'll see you in the next one later